Oh, uh, a new episode of AI is Hit. Like every week, we're going to focus on a photographer to try to illustrate the capacity for AI to recreate uh, the style of a photographer, to understand it. And so, again, information coming from ChatGPT, um, images generated by Dali and Midjourney. Um, here, it's a little different than the other weeks. Dali will be on the left, um, Midjourney on the right just to give us a, a point of comparison. And yeah, let's ask AI a, a little bit more about this photographer. She was an American model, photographer, and war correspondent who was born in 1907 and died in 1977. She began her career as a fashion model in the 1920s, working for brands such as Vogue, and later became a photographer herself. During World War II, she worked as a war correspondent covering the liberation of Paris and the concentration camps. After the war, she continued to work as a photographer and also documented her experiences during the war. She was known for her portraits of famous artists such as Picasso and Man Ray and her photographs of war-torn Europe. She is considered a pioneer of modern photography. Okay, interesting photos. Um, quite a different way of rendering images for Dali on the left and Midjourney on the right. Uh, I think it really confirms that Dali is kind of trying, I don't know if trying is the right term, but to to express a certain style. So it's probably basing its images to something, its image construction to something in its database that's more, whose granularity is maybe more close to the real photographer. Midjourney still has this way of presenting very clean images, um, and yeah, more of a Midjourney style than of a certain photographer, I, I believe. It tends to clean up photographers that are not that clean in their styles. And yeah, and otherwise, ChatGPT is kind of running in circles sometimes. So we do hear a little bit of information that's sort of redundant information. So it's hard to know if there's any actually finer detail in what it's saying. And yeah. And sometimes it's kind of weird, the Picasso um, and Man Ray photo, for example, the Dali image, is, is, it's hard to understand how I, how I understood the prompt, actually, um, while it's a more traditional portraiture on the right with Mitt Jorney. But anyways, maybe you've guessed who the photographer is, and if not, it's uh, Lee Miller. Um, yeah, okay, so Lee Miller, AI, can you tell us more about uh, the specificity of her style? Lee Miller's style as a photographer is known for its combination of surrealism and documentary photography. She was heavily influenced by the surrealist movement and often used surrealist techniques in her work, such as double exposures, solarization, and manipulation of negatives to create dreamlike and otherworldly images. Interesting to see both uh, approaches from Midjourney on the right, Dali on the left. There's definitely some surrealism in the first two pictures. Uh, kind of weird but again this mid-journey cleanliness on the right and maybe a deeper try from Dali yeah is it uh, Lee Miller style hard to say the the era seems to be respected it's trying to show pictures in black and white from the time and and, and the one with the techniques with uh, the multi-exposure um, uh, definitely comes out with both tools uh, with uh, really interesting pictures coming out. Uh, quite nice, not sure it's very specific, but uh, let's hear a little bit more. Additionally, Miller's work often incorporated elements of the everyday, giving her photographs a sense of realism and authenticity. Her war photography, for example, captured the harsh realities of war and the human impact on conflict in a way that was both powerful and poignant. And here are a little bit of differences uh, in the way Dali and Midjourney uh, approach the subject. Dali seems, we've seen that in the past and with other photographers, tends to recurse to, to portraits, to, to individuals, uh, to try to create an image when it's kind of lost. I think that's what's going on here. While Dali really tries to incorporate uh, more details of what, the prompt asks, and here, obviously, I based the prompt on the text from ChatGPT, so it, Dali gives us something that's more than sort of just simple portraits. Uh, let's listen a little bit more about the style. 
Furthermore, Miller's portraits of artists and celebrities are known for their intimacy, capturing her subject in a way that is both candid and revealing. She often used natural light, and her compositions were simple, allowing the subject to be the main focus. Okay, here for the for this part, it's actually asking Chat. Well, ChatGPT is giving us uh, portraits of artists and celebrities, so we do get that from both tools. Here, Dali is definitely putting more uh, power into the more refined details on those portraits. I actually think they're pretty great. They could enter in maybe a little bit too modern in the style, but they could be inspired by some of the work uh, of Lee. Please post your your own uh, opinion um, if you if you don't agree or if you agree actually. Um, while Mid Journey still always does a little bit of that mid-journey thing with very clean portraiture and very cinematographic so which has its advantages it's, it's, it's pretty neat but um, i'm not sure if it's the tool itself of creating the image that's that's more limited or if it's simply the database which is not as uh, rich as the one from dali but anyways the, quite interesting but and, and and if and if and as we have a virtual lee at our disposal let's go for a custom creation um could we have a vaporously clad celebrity standing on the stairs on front of a broadway theater with a crowd of photographers around a photograph in the style of photographer lee miller hey and here i regrouped uh, like i used to do uh, four images of dali first and then we'll go to mid journey here we see that dali is really trying to bring some style you have this kind of diffuse light um this these angles which i think could maybe go the scenes themselves not really but but that could that could fit with uh, lee miller's style so i think that's that's pretty interesting um same thing for those two next pictures there's some kind of realism and and yeah pretty nice again the era seems to be respected uh, and very interesting results here. Um, well, now we go, we're going to meet Journey. Uh, definitely didn't understand the vaporously clad subject. Um, and we do have that's that's more of a mid Journey style than ever. Very clean, it's got the era kind of right. Um, but then, yeah, even if the pictures are interesting per se, it's not very impressive in terms of uh, respecting the style same thing for the last two pictures maybe the diffuse lighting this kind of um, haze that's going around that we find sometimes on in lee uh, miller's work but otherwise yeah not very convincing uh, like often um, but don't hesitate to go check the real informations online in books in exhibitions uh, wherever and and don't hesitate to post comments and and suggestions and catch you next week. Mm -hmm.